Man's greatest enemy is himself, so his most serious war is always the one he wages against himself. And if he conquers himself, he wins the greatest victory he can ever win in life. There is nothing that should stop man from thinking over and over again that not only life is a reality, but also death, and that this is inevitable in every case, and often appears when it is not expected. It should not be the case that the limits of compassion are set by begging from aid organizations, but by the true humanity of man. Even the ugly contains a beauty, even if man is usually not able to derive this instantaneously from its value. Since man sees only the ugly in the ugly, this has a more profound effect on his thoughts and feelings than beauty. As a result, the beauty in the ugly is overlooked, whereby especially those people who are struck with ugliness must suffer because their inner beauty is not recognized. To exercise clarity means to see with one's view of reality and the realization of things, and it means to see the intertwining of the boundaries of life and death, the flowing movement between the two dimensions that form an unbroken wholeness, which is in constant imperishable motion and of timeless eternal existence. When man consciously approaches his dying, he slowly feels an intense, fine spiritual perception of true love and the ability to communicate and pass on this love. Associated with this is also the emerging ability to enjoy the smallest and most insignificant things that appear. At the same time, there are strong feelings for fellow human beings and for all forms of life whereby a strong feeling and fine spiritual perception of connection and oneness with them is awakened, and thus also awakens the recognition and knowledge that death following dying embodies nothing other than the true expansion of life. Probably the person suffering the most is certainly the one who is dominated by his passions. The three most important qualities in the life of man are to give what is difficult to give, to do what is difficult to do, to endure what is difficult to bear. Before a person speaks, not showing his behavior and not revealing his knowledge, one cannot know his mistakes or his virtues and values. Giving true love and friendship to a person means giving true affection in the deepest connection because you really love the other for their own sake without bringing your own needs into play and without seeking profit. Most people live together like pebbles in a barrel, rubbing, scratching, and pushing each other. But they only scrape each other off, injure each other in alternating succession, and can't find a way to each other and become one. Only a selfish, arrogant, and self-aggrandizing person who puts other people down puts a crown on himself. Many a person deceives himself during his lifetime and learns nothing at all. And so he does not even know who and what he really is. So one day comes the hour of his dying and death, without knowing who he really is, what the meaning of his life was, and what he could have learned in terms of actual knowledge and creative truth, love, joy, peace, and wisdom. This is the hour when many people wish they had really lived. Where many promises are made, they are rarely kept. Love based on only a feeling, has nothing to do with true love, but with desires, cravings, yearning, emotional intoxication, satisfaction, etc. In the memory of every single person, both good and bad things appear, such as those that he communicates only to his closest confidants 
but not simple acquaintances, relatives, or even strangers, but also those that he keeps solely for himself, under absolute secrecy, even towards his closest confidants. However, in a human being's memory, there are also things that he fears to let penetrate into his consciousness, which is why he suppresses them. And these kinds of things exist in considerable numbers, more or less in the memory of all people, both decent and indecent. But standing by these unpleasant and often repressed memories is a thing that not everyone is comfortable with, and is therefore denied to third parties, or even to oneself, which often leads to feelings of guilt, depression, and wrong behaviors. When a person tries to convert someone to a faith, he is only trying to convince himself of his own faith. More than anything else, happiness reveals the character of a person. If he can laugh openly and freely, not artificially and full of honesty, then his character reveals itself as a bright ray of sunshine that lights up the darkness and makes everything recognizable. Poverty is tolerable, but abundance is harmful. Many a person has trained himself in a tremendous addiction to contradiction, through which he deprives himself of all true openness and all further knowledge as well as true love and wisdom. True friends understand and trust each other even when there are mistakes, differences, and misunderstandings. A great value that survives even death is a fundamental goodness that is given in the deepest, innermost being of every human being by the spiritual existence and its forces since the very beginning of life. This goodness of creative spiritual origin constantly pushes forward, whereby the whole life of man is an invitation to discover this goodness in order to let it penetrate outwardly and to realize it through constant effort and practice. Man should not be judged according to his religion and skin color, not according to his status, title, possessions, not by his clothes and not by his appearance, but by his true love, wisdom, and harmony, according to his personality, his character, his virtues, and his humanity. A friendship that is not nurtured by both sides with constant efforts and hard work to grow and be progressive will never have permanence. Being alone and without true friends means living a life of loneliness, fear, hardship, and danger. Subconsciously, man is usually aware of this, which is why reason alone dictates to us to seek true friends who are willing to give love, joy, hope, and harmony. You eat your bread while you have it. It is better for everyone to endure injustice than to knowingly put themselves in the wrong. To have true friends in life is to possess true wealth. If man really wants to live, then he must free himself from himself and make his true self a reality. Love, peace, freedom, justice, and truth are the enduring treasures of life. <laughs>